Oh my. Yeah. This is not going to be good at all. Look at them. We're going to need to distract them. Hey, 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 get back. This is not what you do. Get back. Hey guys, I'm Evan. I'm Rebecca. And today we got a bunch of small jobs to do around with the animals. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gathering up some stuff to take out to the pigs since we're going out there. We got some, what do you got there? Um, old sourdough bread left over. Yeah, so we're going to look for some duck eggs to go with that. We may pick some uh, stuff from the garden to take to the pigs as well. But let's see what we can find. The pond is clear on this side today. Blown all the duckweed to the south side, so it looks good. The wind helps a lot. Yeah, under the, what is the log pile here, we've got a fire pit. nest of duck eggs. Pretty tight spot. Could not have been a peaking. Yeah, four eggs under there. <clears throat> Look like they had another nest on that side, mm -hmm. but there's no eggs in it. That one's a little big for a pickle. Supposed to be a pickling cucumber. Another oversized cucumber. So this is what they look like when they go overripe, right there. Oh, so those tomatoes are going soft. So see if the pigs like those. On the ground. Couple apples, couple yellow apples. Looks like they're gonna get lots of apples off the ground today. Mm -hmm. All right, I think we got plenty of free food here to give to the pigs. Um, won't go to waste, I guess. Our turkey is out. Come on, I'll let you back in the barn. You're not, they are not smart at all. So that one isn't the one we clipped its wings. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to end up clipping a lot of their wings probably. All right, Rebecca's the pig whisperer, <laughs> or animal whisperer of all types <laughs> and sizes and shapes. Come here, piggies. Here they come. Like a stampede. <laughs> stampede oh, I got three. for you. <laughs> They'll fight over these eggs. Yes, they do. Unfortunately, Daisy gets kind of left out. Yeah, she's, she's a little a bit small smaller one. than the other two. We're planning on adding a second trough here when we get a chance. Well, now that one's poppies. definitely wearing its food. Yeah, there you go, Daisy. There. Oh. Give them something to snack on. There's little bits and pieces left over from yesterday. Yep. It's like you gave them some squash yesterday. Oh, Poppy's going for the apple first. Good. Yep, going Daisy's for going for the apple too. Yep. Like that. We've had pigs in the past that like tomatoes and we've had some that don't like tomatoes. I think it just kind of depends. Daisy likes the tomatoes. Yep. Daisy likes the tomatoes. Oh, that's an apple. <laughs> She's like, that's pretty good too. Hi boys. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move the steers back over to the other pasture. And they seem to love Rebecca and they don't like me as well. So <laughs> she's going to try to what? Lead them. You're going to lead them. I'm going to push them from behind because they don't like me as well. So hopefully they'll move fairly quick. All right, we're just going to tie our rope across the driveway here to make our little alleyway and get a bucket of feed. Hopefully it'll work. Look, you got a visitor. He's right here in front of you. Oh. Praying mantis. Oh, no. He's a big one, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Here, fly away. Oh, not <laughs> he jumped on my hand. <laughs> All right, Rebecca is just distracting the goats, hopefully. Go get her, fireball. You better run, Hunter. Put a little pressure behind him here. He'll move. Oh, turkeys, watch out. Tur oh, oh, no. 
You just hit a turkey with the gate. I lost control of it. Aww, it was Gertie. Okay, okay, you guys get too excited. Come on. Go get her, boys. Come on. Go get your food. Go, Petey. Definitely the quickest move so far. Yeah. Why is that? Because they love me. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> and they don't like me, so they ran away from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you just cried. I lost control of the fence. Yeah, she, Rebecca I... dropped, oh, let go of the gate and it swung shut against the water trough over here and she squished Gertie in between it. <laughs> She's got to go check on her. The trough's a little bit small for you guys. Plan on moving that one to the pigs and then making you a bigger one for over here. Gertie. Let me see. Poor girl. There you go, I'm sorry. Well, this is what happens when you get all these toms. You get four of them fighting each other. It really looks like it's almost like three against one here. So those toms, now that they're getting mature, they're gonna start fighting for dominance. And um, that's one reason why we just can't keep multiple toms around. Uh, eventually we're gonna go down to probably just one. Trying to lighten the load. So I can dump this. It's in a really awkward spot. I can't get behind it in this corner. Oh. Oh, there we go. It's a little green. Needs cleaned out. Your uh, scrub brush looks nasty now. It's changed I know. color. Look at scrub rub, scrub brush. Yeah. It's supposed to be white and blue on the end. So the water trough is pretty dirty. It's just been sitting over here for like a month, not getting used. So we're actually gonna take it up to the house and use a pressure washer on it real quick so we can get it scrubbed out. Almost as good as new, pretty clean. So I found this all natural stock tank defense. It's supposed to keep up to 150 gallon stock tank clean. So you just drop one in every two weeks and they're little tablets. Yeah, it says it's safe for fish, wildlife, birds, and all livestock. It's just natural microorganisms. Maybe they'll clean our pond up. I think we would need about 150 <laughs> bags of these. So the steers are over here eating in the pasture and we haven't put our electric wire up yet. So we're going to go grab the reel and our posts and we're just going to divide this up a little bit so that they don't have the whole pasture. Do you want me to hook it right here? Yeah. We can hook about the second one down. This, oh. Right, go ahead and flip the lock, latch on it and then roll it up till it's tight. Don't don't step backwards, you're gonna get shocked. Oh. <laughs> you almost touched that wire. It's still short enough I can step over it. But we could always do it this way too. Yeah, you can't step over it. Nope. I can always do that. And I can crawl under it. I could always crawl, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got our temporary fence in, and the boys will have to stay on this side. So this is the first hay bale I gave them. 
it's the first round bale that I made. It was, uh, it was just a bunch of stuff that I cut. It's full of weeds. And it's been out here for, man, how long has it been out here now? Probably three months. There's a hole over here where it's washing out. I'm gonna see if I can move that into that hole. Cause they're not gonna eat that. Look at that. Look out boys. Hopefully we can at least use it to keep this from eroding. There we are, nice clean water. Okay, so now we have to move the chicken netting and the tractor and get everything set up for the next 18 meat birds to go out here on pasture. It's amazing. Other way, please. You always do it backwards for me. Do I? It confuses me. Yeah. Well, I'd prefer the spikes didn't point toward me. Okay. Or toward you, pointing away from you. We've cleaned out their water bucket. It's nice and clean. So we got everything set up for the meat birds. Now we just got to get them out of the barn and get them into the tractor. We'll be glad to have them out of the barn. So these chickens are a couple weeks older than the last ones when we moved them, so these are a lot bigger. We opted to keep them in here instead of building a second chicken tractor. All right, there we are, 18 meat chickens. And these are probably like four weeks old, maybe five weeks old, somewhere in there. Boy, they're heavy. And like normal, now they want to stay in their cage and they're afraid to go into their new home. Come on. All right, we got the chickens moved out in the tractor. I think they are five weeks old today. Um, so they were in the brooder quite a long time. So they only got about three more weeks left. So ideally, we wouldn't have left them in the brooder as long as we did. They should have been moved out here a couple weeks ago. But I just didn't want to build a second chicken tractor and then have to store it and keep it around. So in the future, I just need to make sure that my uh, chickens, that I get them about six weeks apart from each other. And then we won't have such an overlap. And by the time the other ones go to freezer camp, the other one, these would be like two weeks old. So that would work out perfectly. So I just need to time it right next time. So now that the chickens are moved out to pasture, we're going to clean out the brooder. That way we can keep the turkeys in there. And Rebecca actually changed into some boots instead of her sandals. Get her divider out of here. Okay. Well, you can see we got about two inches of wood chips here to clean up. Whoa! Smells strong under there. <clears throat> We're about out of lime. <laughs> We're going to put some in here. Help knock the odor down. Man, it is strong in here. Bad ammonia. Like, burn your eyes bad. Burn your lungs bad. This lime will help knock it down. All right, I'm going to hang the turkey feeder back up in here. And then hopefully they can reach it from this roost. Not sure which is right. <laughs> I 
there's the third and final load. That was a lot easier cleaning out the barn without having hay inside of there since we're feeding the hay outside now. So I know I'm gonna have some people ask, why don't you use a tractor to clean out the barn? And the simple answer is the doors are too small. This door is four foot, four inches wide. So you can't drive a tractor in here. You can't even drive a side-by-side -side in here. Um, it's just wide enough, maybe a four-wheeler would fit in this door. But the other door is like a regular 32 inch walk-in door. So you can't even drive all the way through. So you really can't use any equipment inside that barn to clean it out. You have to do it all by hand. Now, if we were to redo this, I think one option would be the other side to make a door the same size on the other side. And then at least you could drive a four wheeler in here and be able to drive all the way through. And then you could use some type of a little trailer behind the four wheeler. But uh, right now, the way it's set up, you have to do everything manually. You know how you start a job and it keeps getting bigger and bigger? That's what today has begun. We went ahead, we moved their other hay feeder outside here, see if we can fit it under this roof. And now Rebecca wants this fence taken off here. This has been here since we've owned the place. So she thinks it'll open this up a little bit. Actually, I'm sure it will help. This side, it's gonna fall probably. Mostly fell. Man, you'd think a board that old wouldn't be that hard. There's one. There we go. All right, I think we're finally at the last job of the day. We've got to put up the little training wire so the pigs learn what electric wire is. Yeah, we're going to get them trained on electric fence. So we're going to take some of these step-in posts like we made their electric fence in or out of. And uh, we're going to set this up on the inside of their pin here. And uh, just probably about six inches off the fence. And they'll test it out, won't they? Yes. Yeah. They're curious little creatures. They'll test it out. They'll, they'll be noisy. <laughs> yeah, they, they will be no noisy when they touch it. But they'll learn pretty quick. <laughs> So back here we don't have any power, so we're gonna set this up on a battery. I picked up another battery the other day just so I can have one on hand for situations like this. So the one thing I don't like about this charger is that it actually doesn't mount on a T-post. I think that's really handy when you can put these on a T-post. But it's made to mount to a wire. So I've just put a piece of baling wire in here and then just going to hang this from the fence, basically. And the pigs are so curious right now, they're not going to be very happy in a few minutes. You guys are killing me. Stop it. I don't know how you expect me to get any work done with these conditions. Stop it. So instead of driving a ground rod for this, this is just a temporary setup. I'm just going to drill a hole in a T-post and I'm gonna use that as a ground. Hopefully this works. Seems to short out the electric wire all the time. Let's go ahead and take some of the paint off. Hopefully this works. Being a new T-post with paint on it, I don't know how well it will. But the old rusty one's definitely grounded out. This fence is just tall enough not to be comfortable. <clears throat> All right, we'll set four of these temporary T-posts in here and string some wire across. All right, piggies, I'm gonna pick right where you guys like to lay. Look out, look out. You guys will definitely run into it. Okay, give me the coil wire. We needed to feed them or something to keep them away from here while we did this. Hey, hey. I may have you just energize this real quick. I don't know. No, 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 get back. Get back. Get back. 
All right. Get back. They're pulling on it. Poppy. We're going to need to distract them. Hey, 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 get back. This is not what you do. Get back. Oh my, it's bad. This is not good at all. No, not me. <laughs> Daisy. Daisy. No. Stop. Daisy. Well, that definitely wasn't working with the pigs around for sure. Um, she fed them with some, and sprayed them down, hopefully distracted them with some feed. Hopefully get this turned back on before they come. All right, we got a couple strands of poly wire going across here, so I just need to hook this up to the battery. And that should be on. Guarantee they go straight for it. Yep. And this isn't... Oh! That made me jump. <laughs> I felt bad because they chewed on it. It was in his mouth. Or her I know. mouth. Yeah, but... Well, it looks like the T-post worked as a ground. <laughs> it didn't like it. We're gonna try it Of course, again. the mouth is probably the worst spot to get shocked. Yeah. I'm waiting to see if it just works on their nose. Yep. <laughs> that worked. See, they, they know there's something over there, but they're too afraid. They're, they're afraid to get close. So it's, it, that's how it works. It's like psychological. Keeps them away from the fence. They so want to bite on it. But... I know they do. <laughs> so that electric fence, it like pulses probably like once every two seconds. So it kind of throws the pigs off a little bit because they know they can touch it and they're not getting shocked. And then all of a sudden, zap, they get it. So yeah, they'll learn though pretty quick. Yeah, and the quicker they learn, the quicker they can get out in their big, great big area. Yep. I'd say, you know, we'll give them a week or so, and then we can finally release them to this whole area we, we made for them. And uh, they're going to love that. They're going to have so much to explore, so much to dig up. <laughs> yep. Yep. This is just required. It's required to be able to put them out here so that they, uh, so they stay away from that psychological barrier, you know, so they stay away from that electric fence. It'll... They, they'll they'll know they learn to respect the wire <laughs> yes yes they will respect it well the pigs it only took like maybe a couple of them it took two or three times to get shocked yeah daisy it only took once she's smart yeah and now they just kind of backed away from it completely like they don't even they're not even like they kept on wanting to come up to it and then they're like yeah forget it so they finally just came back up here where they know it's safe <laughs> So it's been a pretty full day today. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of chores that we needed to get done done. Yeah, and when you start one chore, it turns into another chore. It just kept on getting into more and more and more stuff. And today's Labor Day. Yeah. Yeah, so we spent our holiday, Labor Day, working, working, working all day <laughs> in, around here. But good to have a lot of that stuff behind us. Yes, it was stuff that needed done, so. Yeah, hopefully most of these big stuff is almost done and over with. and. I'm hoping, yeah. you know, now that we got the, the chickens, the first batch of meat chickens processed and we've got this pig pen all made, I'm hoping that I'll be able to work on the pole barn here soon. <laughs> I want to get back to working on the pole barn so that I can really be able to do some projects in there in the winter time. So really hoping to start that back up. Well guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. It's been a fairly long day. I think we've been at it for about six hours, I'd say. And uh, so it's about four o'clock now and uh, been a pretty long day. Video will be quite a bit shorter than what <laughs> our day actually was. But uh, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, we'll see you in the next one.